This tutorial will teach you how to cut out block letters to use as a headline from a photo for InDesign. The tutorial is designed for middle school yearbook students and uses CS3, Adobe software, Photoshop, and InDesign. The first thing you need to do is choose a photo that would be suitable to create a background. You can use a group of people, but it would need to be a very big group. Or you can use scenery like I'm going to use. The first thing to do is make the background editable. So you double click on the background in the layers palette and that will change the name automatically to layer zero. Now the background becomes editable. The second thing you need to do is type your word. So you use the tool type key and you want to use kind of a big font. I chose to use impact which is kind of a blocky font and 72 points and then you type your word. Go ahead and use all capital letters. Now, I actually want my word to be bigger than that, so I'm going to hold down the control key and pull on the sidebars, and that will make the word even larger. Once you've created your word, go to the layers palette and drag the layer that has your word on it below the layer zero. Now, don't panic. Your word is going to disappear. That's okay. Now hold down the Alt key while you hover your mouse in between the two layers on the Layers palette and you'll see two circles pop up. Click it while you're holding down the Alt key and now your words are visible. The next thing you want to do is crop your photo. So use the cropping tool and you're going to want to crop your photo just above and just below. and then double click inside the photo and that will finish the crop. Now the next thing you want to do is we want to place it in InDesign. But before we place it in InDesign we're going to want to cut it out because we're going to want it to show on a background. So you're going to use the magic wand tool and click on all the areas that you don't want to show. Hold down the shift key and that will allow you to choose all of the space at the same time. Once you've done that, click Select, Inverse, and then go ahead and save your file. Nope, don't save your file yet. Go over here to the Paths palette and click Make Work Path. Leave it at two pixels. And then click Save Path. OK. And then click clipping path and click OK. Now go ahead and save your work. You want to save it as a JPEG file. Now our word is going to be way too big so we need to adjust the image size. So image, image size. I want to make mine about two inches tall and then hit OK. And then go ahead and save your file again. Now we're going to go into InDesign and we're going to place this word. Go File, Place, choose your word, go ahead and place it. Because we cut that out, we can now place it over a background if we wish. And the word will show up. And there it is, a cutout word that you could use for any headline.